Yes, sir, because that's already grounds for me to set up litigation against you. So you're threatening to sue us? I ain't threatening nothing, brother. That's what you just said. I'm a law student here. You're not going to come over here and try to violate my right. Are you Googling the laws right now? Because yeah. that's really what you should be doing right now. All right, cool. You okay with that? Yeah, continue reading Are you session. sure you're okay with that? Yeah. I give you permission. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's okay. I appreciate it.本视频素材由九五二马蒂纳斯提供，频道链接在视频下方。观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎来到紧张时刻。二零二三年九月份，新墨西哥州立大学警局接到一匿名报警电话，声称有一名在校学生涉嫌
if we want to go that route. Okay, I want you to give me that ultimatum right here, right now, that if I don't give you my ID, that you're going to arrest me for concealing identity. And he said that you're aware, are you aware that I arrest you, or that New Mexico doesn't have qualified immunity? Yeah, so he went down that route. So I think that's what he's trying to get at. I don't know. So that's pretty much where we're at. Okay. Hi. Name and badge number, please. Sergeant John Lovelace. My badge number is 212. 212. All right. Thank you. Uh, officer said here that if I don't ID, I will be subject to arrest. Is that true? It's possible, yes. Uh, possible, yes or no? I need, I need that ultimatum or else I won't get my ID. Okay. So technically right now, yes, you could be arrested. Could. I need a yes or no. Like... I need you to tell me if you don't give me your ID right now, I'm gonna arrest you. Why, why would I say that to you? We can see Because I need that ultimatum. Because right now you're asking, yes. and I have the right to say no. Because you're asking, you're not. It's not a lawful order. Okay. I need you to so make it a lawful you're order. You're being detained for suspicion of minor um, in possession of alcohol. Mm -hmm. We need to see your ID. Okay, and if not, and if not, you could be considered could an identity. Because. New Mexico statute says that concealing of identity is a secondary charge. I would have to have been arrested or suspected of a crime. No, right now, you hear you just don't hearsay. Have to be arrested or suspected? You're being suspected of a possession. On, on what? On what grounds? Okay, so do you have any alcohol in your possession? I don't answer questions. On what grounds? Okay, so you don't have any alcohol in your oh, possession. On what grounds? So here's the deal. By saying could. What we are trying to do is we're trying to be cooperative with you and have you be cooperative with us mm -hmm. and help us clear this matter up. Okay, I gave him my name, Joel. What's your last name? You don't need my last name and you do not need my date of birth unless you want to run me for it, unless you want to run my name through your so system. You have, are you trying to run my name through the system? Do you have warrants for your arrest? Is are you, I don't answer questions. Concerned? I don't answer questions. I'm don't asking questions. questions. I don't. It's my Fifth Amendment. Is it or is it not? 美国宪法第五修正案保护被告在可能通过证词自证其罪的情况下不必作证。因此，此时学生选择履行此项宪法权利，拒绝回答警员的一切和饮酒相关的问题。Okay, so the question is, is that like the officer told you, you're being suspected of having possession of alcohol underage. So in that case, the easiest way to prevent this is for you to let us know. Either you had, you got somebody saw you carry a case of beer. You have a case of beer in your possession? I don't answer questions. Okay. All right. Um, so the others, the next, the next step in this process would be: Would you give us consent to check your room? Nope. To make sure that nope. you have no alcohol in your possession. Nope. I do not consent to any searches nor seizures. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, this is completely up to you how you want to play this. You could get a warrant, or you could. So. Or you, you have probable right costs. Now, Go right ahead. Right now, we do have reasonable suspicion that possibly a crime had been committed. Mm -hmm. We're trying to investigate that. Mm -hmm. You are certainly welcome to refuse, if you wish. I know. But we need to ID you. Or? And if we do not, if you do not present your identification, you can face a non-traffic citation. You're saying could. I need because you to say I'm you will. You the, I'm giving you the opportunity to. No, I need that ultimatum. I will give you my ID if you say that I'm going to go get arrested if I don't give it to you. So you'll give us if we say that? If you say that, yes, sir. Because that's already grounds for me to set up litigation against you. So you're threatening to sue us? I ain't threatening nothing, brother. That's what you just said. It's not a it threat. It's not a threat. I'm a law student here. You're not going to come over here and try to violate my rights. So I'm not trying to violate your rights. I'm trying to be cooperative with you and you be cooperative okay, I'm with Okay, cooperate with me and accept that I'm not going to give my ID unless I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get arrested. Say it and I'll give you my ID. Just say, if you don't give me your ID, I'm going to arrest you. So you want us to threaten you? you. Want us to yes, threaten I want you to give me that ultimatum if you really want the ID. You. That's not how this is Why? Happen. Because you know you can't. You know you don't have that ultimatum. You know you can't because you know that opens up for litigation. Okay. Are you Googling the laws right now? Because yeah. that's really what you should be doing right now. All right, cool. Are you okay with that? Yeah, continue reading. Are you sure you're okay with that? Yeah. I give you permission. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's okay. I appreciate it.
Okay, so. Sure. You have a class at the end of it? Class at the end of it. Okay, so here's why we need your name and date of birth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read you the law because you are a law student, okay? According to New Mexico, it's all being recorded. So concealing identity consists of concealing one's true name or identity or disguising oneself with the intent to obstruct the due execution of the law. Am I obstructing? Or, yes, technically you are, with the intent to intimidate, hinder, or interrupt any public officer. Mm -hmm. Or any person in illegal performance of his duties or exercise of his rights under the law of the United States. Okay, so your investigation is investigating okay. that I'm in possession of alcohol, right? That's exactly. Okay, what and if we I said. don't give you, if I give you my IDs, I'm gonna tell you if I do or do not have alcohol in that room. If or you, is it just a way if you to deny, find me with something? No, the ID is so that we can identify who we are talking to. If you wish to deny us access to that room, that is totally within your rights. I know. But you refusing to identify yourself to us by name. And date of birth, yeah. full name, mm -hmm. date of birth. 哎呀，不知道细心的观众朋友们有没有发现，在警司向学生解释相关的法律条文时，警司的双手正不由自主的颤抖着。嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，That is concealing identity. Yeah. Okay.、Uh -huh. Okay. So just tell me so, that if I don't give you the ID, you're gonna arrest me. Just、okay. say it. Show us your ID. We need to see your ID, or you will be arrested. Thank you. You got that right? Yeah. Yeah, you got that. <laughs> Fucking pigs, fool, for real. Why do you use that term? Because why the fuck are you searching my shit? Like we're not searching no, your shit. No, yes, that's a that's a that's a seizure of my identification. Is it or is it not? It's not a seizure. We just it's a seizure of my identification. Yes or no? We just need to see who you are in order to I go told you forward in the investigation. I told you my fucking name. Today I didn't. Your legal name. My you legal name. Your first name. What is my Joel? Not the legal name or what? Joel what? <laughs> he has my ID. Go look at it. Perfect. That's all we yeah. needed. Thank you. That's all we needed. Mm -hmm. Let's go down here real quick, please. Am I able to go in my room? No, not yet. Just hold up for just a minute, please, guys. Okay, so he's denying us for your consent to search. That's no, fine. That's fine. But we have him ID'd, so we're、yep. going to take her, make sure we take a report. Yep. And then,、um, so basically, we got called. Someone suspected him of having alcohol in his dorm room, carrying a case of beer in. It's 19 years old.、Um, we will take a case report on it.、Um, there will be a case number drawn. Pretty much, basically, he's pushing the issue on the concealing identity. But now that we've now that we've negated that, we don't have to do any more.、Uh, we will take a report just to document the incident. Okay. Any questions?、Uh, just the report number. Yeah, we'll get that here. 由于学生拒绝警方对自己的宿舍进行搜查。并且，警方除了一个匿名电话，没有任何证据能够证明学生违法饮酒。因此，除非获得搜查令，警方无法进入学生宿舍。We'll get that here in just a minute. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it, Joel. Yeah, yeah. We're done. Okay. Have a good night. You guys can go to your room. Thank you. Look at that fucking pigs. 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 Look at that Um, but we have an anonymous complaint, so it's really kind of, really kind of one of those things that's up in the air. We don't want to, we don't want to do that. Hey, I hate you though. You're a professional. Thanks a lot for that. Thanks. Okay, case number. Have a good day. Twenty twenty-three. Seven eight one six. 哎呀，此刻我们能够清晰的听到。数名学生在宿舍内正庆祝自己刚刚和警方的交涉中打了一场胜仗啊。Cool. Do you guys need anything else? Uh, not right now. Thank you so much for dealing. Yeah. No problem. Thank you guys for coming out. Can I get like a oh a badge number or anything else? Yeah. Uh, my name's Officer Pertle. My badge number is two zero two. Are they? Oh wait, they're right here. They're right here. Hi. Oh, they're right here. Just, just listening. Two zero. Yeah, you're listening. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else I can help you guys with? We, we no, dance, so you're just gonna stand around、thing. and get paid. Yeah, sure. He's gonna stand around and get paid, brother. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I think we can just prove some braces. I'm gonna get complaints on both of your asses. Okay. And Chief Donovan is gonna know about this shit because he knows who I am. Chief Donovan knows. Chief you. Donovan knows who I am. Okay. Perfect. All right. Appreciate <laughs> it. Up for real. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah. And did you find anything with that ID, brother? 
Did you find out if there's alcohol in here or not with that ID? Nah? Well, so you, what the fuck you was denied us consent, so that's fine. I didn't like give you consent. Exactly. Could, you so if we're you not could, gonna we're not gonna argue with you. Have a nice day. Get the fuck here. Well, okay, this yeah, is yeah, actually I'm a common area, so we're allowed to be here. Go work. I pay you for something. Fuck here. Yes, I pay you for something. Fuck here. Because you fucking got my ID for no fucking reason, brother. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Have a nice day, sir. Oh. Have a nice day. Yeah. Bye bye. Have a nice day. So. Tingo Gangan Shueshen to Jinsi, Eton Fong Huang Shu Chu, Jin Yuan Tsi, Yishi Shifen, Wunai, Ganga, the Kanja Tsi, the Lindao, Sinta Shou, Zu Wu Tsu. I will call the deputy. I will call the chief real quick and just let him know. Sounds good. Supposedly there's going to be a complaint on us. So, huh? Jeez, man, what disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll, 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 I'll go call the chief real quick and let him know. Q. 此段执法记录仪一经公开，立即引起了轩然大波。有众多网友表示，警察作为执法者，应当是那个坚决维护法律的人。但是，警司却在法学生面前要掏出手机去网上谷歌相关的法律条文，简直离谱！而且，警司在向学生解释相关的法律条文时，双手抖得厉害，不知是因为愤怒、紧张还是心虚啊！还有网友表示，那位法学生好像很享受和警方的交涉过程，感觉终于可以在实战中学以致用了。还有网友表示，对那个打匿名举报电话的人也是十分无语啊！这点事情居然还出动多名警员前来调查，实在是本末倒置。也有网友表示，法学生对警司最后那一段脏话疯狂输出显得不妥。但是反对者表示，学生在一开始和警司的交涉过程中都一直表现得十分礼貌。学生是在自己多次提醒自己无需提供 ID， 但警司最终仍然下达最后通牒，需要查看的情况下才彻底失去了对警司的尊重，认为其侵犯了自己的合法权利。最后，有网友表示，一开始警员只是表示有人举报说学生喝酒精饮料，但是后面法学生却自己提出了啤酒，因此他本人肯定是涉嫌违法饮酒了。观众朋友们，你们对此案又有什么样的看法呢？请在评论区留言。